evening to you fun, wonderful people out there. <laughs> so it has been a minute since I've, I've recorded a video. It's so bad. I mean, I am behind on my journal. Um, and so today we are going to do week 22 and 23. <laughs> And, and and hopefully, once I catch that up, I don't fall behind again. Like I said, this is a goal of mine. This is the first time doing this. So I am just going to plug along the best way that I can. And I hope you're doing so also. So if this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. And if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button and the bell so you know every time I drop one of these videos. So let's get started. Again, we are starting with week 22. And the question is, if you could travel anywhere tomorrow, where would you go? Boringly enough, I would go see my family <laughs> because I haven't been able to just with this pandemic. Um, just have not been able to um, see my family like I'd like to. So that would be the first thing I do. Now, if it wasn't in a pandemic, as much as I love my family, it would probably be a little bit of a different answer because I would have been able to have seen them already. Anyway, um, Tuesday, May 26th, the question is, list the things that nagged you today. It, I am one of those people who always go into the day with good intentions with my list. And those things nag at me, like constantly stuff that I need to do and haven't done. Like I keep thinking, oh my, oh my break, because I'm working from home, teleworking, that I'm going to throw in laundry. So that nags at me because I don't throw in a, a load of laundry and uh, just doing the journal. Like it nags at me, like you get this done. Just little simple things that I will put in the list, clean something or um, whatever. If things I've got to uh, return or, you know, answer or things I got to fill. I, I got to fill out some paperwork and I can't seem to get to do it. I finally did get my taxes but um to uh, fill out my taxes but i put that up thank god for that, that was extended <laughs> but th those are the things that nag me um wednesday may 27th the question is uh, what gives you comfort right now just being safe um and and fe feeling healthy and knowing that my family is safe and healthy, that gives me comfort. Um, let's see. Thursday, May 28th, it says East Coast or West Coast or in between. East Coast, baby. <laughs> East Coast. <laughs> That's where I'm from all day long, East Coast. That's where I'm from, yo. No, <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> no, but I've always lived on the East Coast. That's that's me. So yeah, uh, East Coast. <laughs> that was so corny. <laughs> um, Friday, May 29th. The question is. If you didn't have any responsibilities for the day, what would you do? Oh, relax or or go shopping. Um, just um, just I don't know. I do whatever. Eat at my favorite. Just order food that I want to order that nobody else might like, including my husband. Because there's some things that you know I don't get because he don't like it. Or go see a movie that only I would like that no that he wouldn't go with me or something like that. I would just just relax and do whatever I wanted. 
So, yeah. Saturday, May 30th, the question is, what is the best thing you read today? Well, um, as you would know, um, there has been a lot going on. Um, and then with the recent uh, death of George Floyd, there has been a lot of protest. Um, just, a, you know, first we've got this coronavirus. Now we've got this, um, this unrest with the protests and all this stuff going on. And, you know, the it's it's really heartbreaking but um you know the best thing that i read were just you know the communities coming together um the um persistent but peaceful protests and you know people are going to be angry and they have a right to be angry and uh, you know they they want to be heard and 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 just seeing the communities that are coming together against um, against the the police brutality and um, and the racial inequities, it just um, you know it's good to see. It really is. So um, we're on Sunday, May thirty first. Question is, how much cash do you have in your wallet? In, in your bank account. <laughs> well, I am probably like most people these days, and I don't, I try to carry cash, and every time I have cash in my wallet, I spend it. So there's never cash in my wallet. I shouldn't say never, but hardly ever cash in my wallet. Um, just most people use bank cards these days and, and just don't carry cash. Now, as far as what is in my bank account, not enough. How about that? <laughs> I, might, I can use it for a few things, but not nearly enough. Not what I should have. Trust and believe. <laughs> so, um, then this takes us to week 23. So, on Monday, June 1st, the question is, on a scale of one to 10, how healthy are you? Well, I am a little over three years uh, cancer-free. And um, I was diagnosed in 2016, my chemo ended in 2017. So I'm assuming they count from when you finish chemo up to now. So I'm a little over three years that, and um, a little overweight these days so I'm gonna put myself at like a seven and a half uh, I don't know that probably doesn't sound that great but um but until my five-year cancer free comes up uh, I just you know cautious just optimistically cautious and as far as the weight is concerned child we ain't even gonna talk about my weight but that's why I put myself at a seven and a half maybe even an eight just because of, of those things. So Tuesday, June 2nd, the question is, should you trust your instinct? Always. You know, we second guess ourselves and then we say, we should have just, we should have trusted our instincts because we really should. I mean, there's a reason for your instincts. There, there's a reason that, that you have them. And um, so don't ignore them, tr definitely trust them. Uh, Wednesday, June 3rd, it says, who do you miss the most right now? Um, see, that this is like a two-level thing to me because um, like who I truly miss or the, or the people that are no longer here would be like my aunt, my Grammy, and my cousin, um, Brian. Um, so that's a totally, that's totally different, um, level of missing someone because I will never get to see them again, um, on this earth. And then there are the people that I miss that, that are on this earth, like my, my children and my grandchildren and my mom, um, cause I, I, I haven't seen them in a while and I really miss, I really miss my mom right now. So, um, 
Hello, Thursday, June 4th. The question is, today you wore blank. <laughs> That's a funny question because normally who, can, who really cares? But the fact is I actually got dressed that day. <laughs> um, and just capris and, a, and a, a shirt or something. But that beats, I've been like, I really have been putting on exercise, workout stuff. Um, and that's a step up from all the pajamas and stuff that I've been, I mean, and they weren't even matching pajamas, some of them. So that was, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. But I actually got dressed that day because I had to go into work. If I didn't have to go into work, I would at least have um, some exercise wear on. So I have vowed not to stay in my pajamas all day like I did like the first couple weeks of teleworking because I know no better. I, didn't, I couldn't get, I had to adjust. I couldn't get used to it. So that's that's what was happening <laughs> so uh friday june 5th the question is what was the last fruit you ate <laughs> question <laughs> um it was i, I can't think is either orange or a grapefruit i eat them both on a regular basis especially oranges oranges are um my favorite next to watermelon but I'm really picky about the watermelon and it hasn't been sweet yet. I for I guess it doesn't really get sweet until July, August or something. So I have been eating a lot of oranges and some grapefruits. So that that's the fruit. Um Saturday, June 6th, it says, which family member are you closest to? Well, um, I'm kind of, I would have to say my daughter because um, my daughter lives in South Carolina, very close, she's two hours away, and we um, see each other more often, hang out more often, um, so I would have to say her, not not to take away my son now or, or anybody else, but I'm probably closest to her because we spend the most time together, and of course I love her with all my heart. <laughs> um, so Sunday... June 7th, the question is, what do you feel grateful for today? Um, just my health and my well-being and um, just just having a, having a job when so many people have lost their jobs because of the pandemic. I have um, not missed a paycheck. Um, we went straight to teleworking and have not stopped. Um, the work is there and I am grateful. Um, I'm grateful that my family is still okay. Um, um, nobody has come down sick. Um, uh, um, thank God. And um, I just continue to be able to check in on them and, um, and know that they're okay. And I'm very grateful for that. So... Um, I got through my two weeks. <laughs> so, um, I don't have any special t-shirt on or anything. I actually said to myself today, um, I had to go to work today, that I was going to really get dressed to go to work because I haven't been putting on really any makeup and I haven't been getting dressed up. So this is a cute little dress that I got off a of gap or something. Um, but yeah, so, um, I just have it on, just kept it on, uh, for the video and before I took it off, take, take off everything and go back to normal. <laughs> but yeah, and, um, as you see, look at this, my hair just seems to be growing like crazy. Yeah. Just growing. My goodness. Yep. So, um, yeah, so I guess that is it. Thank you so much for tuning in, sticking with me. Um, I know I'll be lagging behind a little bit on these videos, but I'm still going to keep them up because I have made a promise to myself that I am going to do this. I am going to get all the way through a year doing this journal. So again, thank you so much. If you like this video, please hit the button. And again, if you have not done so, please hit the subscribe button and that bell. Thank you so much. God bless you. Stay healthy. Stay safe. 
stay six feet apart. 